At what, what point in Tyler Perry's career was he Samuel Jackson or Denzel Washington? Which are the only two black men I can think of that never had a dress on. Yeah, but I don't think it's about that. At, the... at one point, it, it is about that. It think, is about that because he's the that. only black man that we already established has a billion dollars for making movies. He's the only black man with his own studio. But he's also putting out material where he got a goddamn dress on. I want to touch on something because this dress thing has been like hot topic, right? Do you think that because I've I, I've seen a video online where they show a lot of white comics too. Right. Do you think black men are just holding on to this masculine? I have to be masculine. I have to be this strongly man. That's why they asked me to put on a dress. Or or or, or black dudes that's in Hollywood is just kind of like it's it's like overly done or something. Both both answers are true. It's not imaginative, it's not creative, it's not original for a nigga to put a dress on. It's been done over and over and over again. So on one hand, what where am I pushing the conversation forward? But also, yes, there are black men that foundationally are holding on to our manhood with everything we got because even the, rep the misrepresentation of a man in a dress is harmful to our community. Why, though? Well, because you got to remember, out of all the other races of men that are on this particular continent called North America, mm -hmm. that live within this country called the United States of America, black men are the only ones that had our masculinity and manhood taken away from us by the same people that held us in captivity. See, there's no buck breaking of white men. Mm. There's no stories of Asian men being put into breeding programs where they would literally put a bag over your head and make you have sex with your mama, which is where the term motherfucker comes from. So, yeah, black men are fighting against this because from the time we've been brought over to this country as cargo, our manhood and our masculinity has, number one, been something that can be taken, and number two, something that can always be tried. And every time a black man wants to get into a position of comfort or security or stability, he has to trade in his manhood. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that general statement. Who's but... the richest movie maker in Hollywood that's black? The richest movie maker? The richest movie maker in black Hollywood. When you say home. movie maker... I'm talking about people that make and produce films. People that write and direct movies. I would say probably um, Will Packard. Um, I would say... Will Packard got more money than Tyler Perry? Oh, no. I would say Tyler. I forgot about Tyler. Yeah, I would say Tyler. So Tyler Perry is the richest black filmmaker in, black Holly in Hollywood, yes or no? Who else got a billion dollars in their own studio? See See, here's the thing. I wouldn't place... Who I, I else got a billion dollars and they own studio? I wouldn't say Tyler Perry is even in Hollywood. I wouldn't even put him in... What, uh, what, 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 he's what? in entertainment, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say Hold he's on. in Hollywood. Hold on. See, this is what we're not finna do. We're not finna play like <laughs> Tyler Perry is in the European Basketball League. No, no, no. He he's, is in the NBA. He's in the NBA, but when I think of Hollywood, I don't think of Tyler Perry because... Because he's he not white. No, because he's in Atlanta. He's in, it's you know in what Atlanta. else is in Atlanta? What? DreamWorks Pictures has an office in Atlanta. TNT they don't have no is in though. Atlanta. They don't have no CNN studios. CNN is in Atlanta. Yeah, and they also don't need studios to shoot movies. Most of the movies that are shot are not shot on the back lot. They're shot on location somewhere. No, no, no. A lot of them are shot no, on the back lot. No, mo most of the movies that are shot are shot on location somewhere. Like when they shot uh, 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 The Harder They Fall. I haven't seen that one. That wasn't shot on location. That was, I mean, that wasn't shot no back lot. That was shot on location in New Mexico. When they shot Book of Clarence, they really went to Israel and shot that movie. When they went and did The Revenant, they were really in Canada shooting that movie. Most of the movies are done in Canada, actually. Or, or they'll shoot them it's like cheaper. in New Orleans or places like that. Or in Atlanta, but actually within the city. 
not always on a back lot. Okay. But what I'm saying is when he drop a movie, you don't watch that on Tubi. You go to a theater and watch a Tyler Perry movie. Okay. I, okay. We'll say Tyler Perry is the, the He's Hollywood. One. Okay. We'll, we'll put him in Hollywood. Okay. Now that we done got that established, name a point in Tyler Perry's career where he didn't have a dress on. He had a couple of movies with no dress. I said name a point in his career when he didn't have. Name a year that he was in operation where he didn't have a dress on. Well, with all those, um, what's the one he did? I can be married by myself. Oh, I can do bad all by myself. Um, that movie was made in the same year as Madea does such and such. <laughs> name a you know, year. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There was the... I, I could I could do a bad all by myself, or I can get married. Or whatever. I'm not whatever. saying name a film. I'm See, saying I don't know, name I don't a know, year. I don't know those years though, but I know those years when he did those. He did. Why did I get married? Why did I get married too? Whatever year, whatever we can we can Google it. Whatever the end, year that on. was, whatever year those was. Why did I get married too? What happens? I don't, don't, a, don't a nigga come jumping out of cake on Malik Yoba? Chase him out the office and make him get in a car wreck and die. So I didn't like to. I didn't really. I didn't. Really oh right. Too. See, so I you mean, keep on standing on. It ain't got no I legs under it. Nah. <laughs> but listen, as much as he did with the dress on, Tyler Perry other did also did other movies. But you're, you're, miss, you're also missing did the other point. movies that didn't have no dress. You're missing the point. At what, what point in Tyler Perry's career was he Samuel Jackson or Denzel Washington, which are the only two black men I can think of that never had a dress on. Yeah, but I don't think it's about at, what, the, at one point. It, it is about that. It think, is about that because he's the that. only black man that we already established has a billion dollars for making movies. He's the only black man with his own studio, but he's also putting out material where he got a goddamn dress on every year. Because um, every time you turn around, at every iteration of his success, be it the plays. That took over and got him popular, be it the shit that he did on TBS, be it the first movies that he did, be it the movies that he does now. So why? what is his excuse for doing Madea content now? Because there's an audience for it. There's, there's an audience, audience for it. There, there is an audience. There's an audience for it there's because all, black people, there's an audience black for people it. will support shit with niggas in it, period. Right. But we crave listen, representation that bad. But listen, listen, what, listen what I'm saying. Tyler Perry audience is not just black. Those, those are specific. Not, not, not his no, audience listen. is not just black folks. No, no, no. I, what I'm saying is they're not just regular black folks. Those are churchy black folks that he's catering to. That's an underserved audience. That's not, not just an regular. underserved audience. Yes, it is. That's for movies? A, bull- that's not for movies, audience. yes, no, it sir. is. No, sir. It's an underserved do, audience. Do your research and Church you will movies. see. Do your research and you will see that they have three movie companies right now that only make faith-based films and they release them through churches and through church-ran TV stations and, and, and um websites. Right. right now. Those are those, those not main those not mainstream movies. Exactly, but that's not a mainstream audience. But so I'm saying that the only one that's in mainstream audiences that are Tyler specific, Perry wasn't always mainstream. Right, but there but he's specifically catering to this church audience that he's he, before he was mainstream an audience he was for that. catering to that audience. When he was just a nigga doing plays, he was catering to that audience. And that audience that you're speaking of is overweight black women that attend church more than two times a month. Okay, then. Though those that are, has been his demographic the entire 20 years plus that we've known him. Agreed. He was not always mainstream. Agreed. So don't say that those audiences need mainstream representation. They don't have it, though. My point exactly. They so, don't have so let's representation. Go, so let's go back to church flicks and other movie companies that only put out faith-based films. People that go to church and people that, that, that digest faith-based content, they have no desire for the other to go, shit. To go to movies? No, they don't. This is why they don't go. No, they don't go because there's nothing that is catering to them. False. There, there's nothing that's False. catering they, to they them. Make, they make a movie. Uh, I guarantee you they want to go to the movies. T.D. Jakes put out four movies. He has produced four movies from uh, uh, Not Easily Broken to Woman Ease Down by you. Loose. You know, what, I don't know if he you? did Ease By You or not, but I know that he has, he has produced movies that were full feature length releases that hit movie theaters that were faith-based. They didn't do well. Okay. 
Because <laughs> church folks don't want to go see church movies. They what? You know what church folks want to watch? What shit like Greenleaf? You think so? It is the number one rated church based TV show that has ever been created. So let me give you the years now. I'm, I I didn't Google it right. So he did Diary of a Black Woman, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Mm-hmm. That was in 2005. That's got muddy in it. Money oh, is the main character okay. in that movie. Okay. There's, Money, there's Tyler Perry, Kimberly Elise, and, and Steve Harris. Okay. Why Did I Get Married? That's in 2006. So that was the only thing that was out in 2006. The next one was Daddy's Little Girls. That wasn't the only thing that was out in 2006 because in 2006, that's when he started the Meet the Browns TV show. No, that was 2004. I'm sorry, not Meet the Browns, but... Uh, but, uh, but you know, no, no, you right, you right there because Madeira's Family House Union... Pain. That's a play though, and yeah. then yeah. Madeira goes to jail. Uh huh. Was in two thousand six. Same year. Okay, so let's go two thousand seven. Uh huh. Daddy's little girls. Uh huh. And Madeira's class reunion. Nope. The only thing that was Daddy's little girls and why did I get married it was in two thousand seven. And go look at the plays, Madeira's class reunion, or uh where? uh. Laugh to Keep From Crying, one of the two came out. Laugh to Keep From Crying was in 2011. So 2007, and I guess this is What's Done in the Dark. I've never seen that. That's a Madea movie. Okay. That's a Madea play, rather. Okay. And then Meet the Browns, the play was in 2008. That's Madea. And The Family That Prays is in 2008. That's Madea. No, no, no. The Family That Prays? Family That Prays is Madea. No. Boo. Look it up. I've seen that movie, and I like that That's movie. That's a play. That's not a play. That's a movie. That was a play first. The family that prays together. It was a whole song. The family that prays together will stay together. That was a whole play, bro, where Madea came in, and, and that's when they started doing the shit where Madea was visiting members of her outside family and helping them fix their b- Yeah, I've seen the movie. This is the movie, though. I'm not talking about the play. I don't give a movie had in it. I'm talking about the original the, concept, the, which was the play. It was a Yeah, but that deal. wasn't in 2007 or well, that was in 2008 though. That's what we talking about. You said you want me to give you the years. I'm breaking it down by IMDB. Go look at the concept of the movie. I I, I listen, I don't I, I don't you, disagree. I bet you. It's I got don't a disagree. Madea cameo in that movie. And boo. In in and, and, in and, the and, movie and, and Madea's witness protection in the movie. And Madea goes to Six Flags and Madea cooks a burger. Listen and Madea parks a car. Listen and Madea works at Home Depot. Madea has become earnest. Okay, but that's the reason why he got a billion dollars, and that's the reason why he got his own studio. We not talk. And that's with, why he and got with, his own with all studio. of that shit. <laughs> let's go back to your original question, which is. Why are black comedians so against putting the dress on? 